Greetings, everybody. Thanks for joining me today for my review of Hostinger. Hostinger is a web hosting service that is quickly gaining popularity here in America. But if you're in an East Asian country, you probably already know about them. They're well known there. The popularity of Hostinger is largely attributed to the incredible value that they provide, which includes the fact that they have extremely low pricing with packages as low as a dollar. Now, what's interesting to me is that despite being so cheap, I still found that Hostinger excelled in several key areas, like like fast loading times and an impressive uptime rate. And Hostinger's created an easy to use interface, which is why they're a great choice for newbies too. However, there are some areas in which their low pricing might get in the way of whether or not you want to use them, most notably being their customer support. Today, I'll cycle through the pros and cons of Hostinger to empower you to decide if those cost savings work out to give you what you need or whether those low prices really mean you're gonna be sacrificing features that'll leave you wishing you went another way. If you decide to get Hostinger, check the description below for a link so I can get you the best deal out there for you, my loyal viewers. So feel free to check out any of that if you like. So regarding user friendliness, this is one of the features that sets Hostinger apart because they make it really, really easy for anybody to manage a website, even if it's the first time you've ever had a website. The interface is really simple and they have the low price points, as I mentioned. And those things about Hostinger primarily appeal to people who are new to web building, the noobs, as they say. And although Hostinger does offer cloud and VPS hosting plans that they designed specifically to encourage your website to flourish and have positive growth, today I'm only going to focus on Hostinger's three shared service plans, which really do start out at 99 cents. Now, knowing that most of Hostinger's customers, you possibly, have little to no experience with website building, I found Hostinger's free website builder makes that somewhat daunting challenge of creating and then having to manage your first website so much simpler. The tools they have were really easy for me to use, and there were templates to help create a page that was engaging, that was professional, and moreover, was eye-catching. The interface also had a well-organized dashboard with a very intuitive level of access to all those really cool tools and so much more that I'll get into later to keep your site running smoothly. Now, when it comes to performance, which is an extremely important feature, and for some of you out there, the most important feature of a good web hosting company, one of the greatest draws of Hostinger, apart from all the talk about unbeatable pricing, is the speed of their load times. Now, load times literally refer to the time it takes for your web page to load. So how fast is Hostinger? Well, Google sets the gold standard for lightning fast put that in quotes, at 200 milliseconds. Hostinger boasts a worldwide average of around 143 milliseconds, or in much simpler terms, less than a quarter of a second. So while these load times may not be consistent everywhere you go, a worldwide average like that is still pretty sweet when you consider that some areas that you're in may experience much faster times than that, especially in the US. Now, paired with the load time are also incredible speeds. Hostinger also offers that 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee that I was talking about. And uptime refers to the amount of time that your website is up and accessible. So when it comes to Hostinger, you're guaranteed to have the highest industry standard uptime and for 99 cents, 99.9%, 99 cents. Pretty clever. Additionally, as part of this guarantee, should for any reason Hostinger's uptime ever dip below that 99.9% .9 guarantee, you'll become eligible for a five percent site credit, but it's really important to note that they're not going to tell you that they dip below that guarantee and start letting people take advantage of that credit. You need to put on your detective cap and figure that out for yourself, so keep an eye out. In addition to performance, there are several other things that Hostinger does that makes it a really great value. And before I get into the nuances of each plan, I wanted to talk about what comes with all of the plans because with the exception of the 99 cent single plan, all the other plans offer a majority of the same things. So security-wise, Hostinger gives you a free SSL and SSL SSL stands for a secure sockets layer. And that's just a fancy name for that little lock everybody sees in the URL bar whenever you go visit a website or anyone visits your site. And of course, when you see that little lock, it's like the best kind of reassurance that you or anybody visiting your site can have that they're gonna do that safely. They don't have to fear about their data being compromised by hackers or anybody else that might wanna do them harm. As far as building your site is concerned, Hostinger offers a WordPress manager for those of you who use this very popular service. And if you don't use WordPress, don't worry worry about it. In a moment, I'm going to talk about Hostinger's built-in website creation tools that they developed. For those of you who think you're going to need a lot of bandwidth and a whole flurry of email accounts, the premium and business plans offer unlimited versions of both of those, so you got yourself covered there. For an anxious person like myself, one thing that I really value is the ability to back up a site. With the single and premium plans, you're going to get weekly backups, and the business plan allows you to do it daily. Me, personally, I like to do it daily because it just gives me one less thing to worry about. And if backing up 
up your site seems too daunting or is just not necessary, that's totally okay because Hostinger has Cloudflare and Cloudflare is a service that stores a mirror or a functional copy of your website's data on their servers. And that gives you real-time backup protection against a DNS attack, a denial of service attack, or any other type of website crash that might occur. Another cool thing about Cloudflare is that it also keeps you informed when those types of disruptions happen. So it gives you a chance to act quickly and fix any damage before it gets out of hand. Because normally when you experience an issue like that and your site is down because of an error, whoever visits it can't access the site until a problem is fixed. But with Cloudflare protection, it at least allows the visitors to see a basic version of your site that operates until you can address whatever's going on and fix the problem. And speaking of those DNS attacks, Hostinger also has a tool to manage those types of service interruptions on their end that works in tandem with the Cloudflare. Also, I wanted to mention, don't be alarmed by the number of monthly visits you see when you look at Hostinger's plans. It's not a cap. It's actually a guideline to make sure you choose the right package for yourself because Hostinger is not going to enforce that monthly limit, but it's definitely possible the other features of that particular plan may not be able to keep up with that type of really heavy traffic. So use those monthly visits as like a helpful estimate to determine what your needs are rather than view it as some type of limitation you got to stay within. Another cool feature that companies like Facebook and Netflix use is Git and you'll get access to this. And with Git access, what you'll be able to do is work with your employees or coworkers remotely to develop and collaborate on projects or to QC products or to just really keep a constant flow of really good communication going so that you can streamline your business practices and other things that make you efficient and then maybe profitable. And talk of profits is a good segue into pricing because that's another area where Hostinger really demonstrates its value as a hosting company. Because at first glance, to be honest, even I was wondering if a 99 cent hosting plan could actually help you create a good website. And after getting a chance to experience Hostinger for myself, the short answer is yes, because Hostinger's single plan is really ideal for people with smaller, more intimate websites. So if you have a portfolio that you're trying to create or a family blog or something really minor like that, the single plan is really great for that. Hostinger's shared service plans are broken into three three tiers, the single that I already mentioned, premium and business. The single is 99 cents, as everybody's heard about. The premium is $1.89 and business is $3.99. Now, keep in mind that these are introductory rates and they're going to go up after your initial contract is over. So it's certainly possible if you have the ability to commit to a longer term, years, months, whatever it is, it could actually save you a lot of cash in the long run. Now, when companies offer tiered packages, something that's pretty standard, of course, is that the features and added value are gonna, as you ascend up that ladder. And as far as hosting is concerned, in general, those specific features that you're going to see as you ascend the ladder are an increase in storage capacities and the ability to gain access to a lot of tools that help you further optimize your site in order to manage it for all that heavy traffic that's going to be coming its way. The single tier does include the majority of what you'll need to start your first website, except for a free domain, and there'll be more on that in a moment, so stay tuned. At $1.89, the premium plan offers a lot of additional benefits, while the business plan priced at $3.99 is the best in my opinion, for anyone looking to draw a larger audience, and you want to do that by creating a larger volume of websites. And as you draw larger audiences, Hostinger allows you to upgrade your plan and escalate it as your needs dictate. And one more thing, Hostinger offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, which may not seem like a big deal if you sign up for the 99-cent plan, but I always appreciate it when any company is willing to put a guarantee on any level of their service, no matter what it costs. So as great as Hostinger is, there are some reasons that you may want to choose a different hosting company. One of the most commonly noted issues about Hostinger is the lack of phone support. Now, they do offer a 24-7, 365, no-tier live chat support, which is more than enough for me, but it may not be for you. And for those unfamiliar, a no-tier support system System means that everybody you talk to is just as capable of answering your questions and solving your problems as the next person. So no matter what level of panic your issue ranges in from no sweat to a full-on catastrophe, whoever you talk to first is the last person that you're going to talk to. There's no supervisors or anything like that. And if you are someone who really just needs to hear a person on the other end of the line, then hosting here may not be the best for you. I also wanted to mention that access to that live chat support feature that I mentioned requires you to log in. So if you're a new customer, or even if you're an existing customer, and somehow you got locked out of your account because, like me, you can't remember your really complex passwords, you're going to need to submit a ticket and wait for an email reply. Another important note that's only going to be relevant to a small percentage of people out there is the fact that Hostinger doesn't offer cPanel. Hostinger has their own website development tools, so if you use cPanel, you may want to consider an alternate host, but remember, the majority of you out there really won't be affected by this, as I mentioned. So all things considered, is Hostinger a true value for a 
dollar? The answer is yes. They offer one of the most user-friendly hosting experiences in the industry, and the fact that you're getting premium speed, performance, and functionality at a level that more expensive web hosting companies would charge you is truly remarkable. So fear not. If you're new to web hosting, or you're just searching for a low-cost option that's going to allow you to create a website that's fully functional, that's interactive, that looks professional, and catches people's eyes, all without costing an arm and a leg, then Hostinger really would be a great choice. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please feel free to leave a thumbs up. As you know, I always appreciate it, and a good old digital pad on the back feels oh so nice. And if you decide to get Hostinger, I'll include a link in the description showcasing the best pricing deal that I can get for you, my loyal viewers, and I'll remind you this is a deal that is not available on their website, so feel free to take advantage of that if you like. Also, if you're curious about any of my other favorite business tools and services, I'll include links to them down below as well, as well as any of the best discounts I can get to save you money, as much money as possible. Be sure and let me know any comments or questions that you have. You know I always love to get to answer as many of them as I can. Nothing is cooler than interacting with people like you who share the same passions as me. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe out there and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video.